Hey YouTube, John here from The Nerd Report. I'm making this video as a response to my friend, the gentleman physicist, who posed a question last week of, is molten glass transparent? Well, to understand this question, we need to understand why glass is transparent in the first place. And to do that, we're gonna have to shift our gaze to the world of the subatomic. So in a standard atom, we have a nucleus and electrons moving around the nucleus. These electrons exist in certain energy levels and can occupy the regions between these energy levels. Normally, an electron exists in its lowest energy level, or its ground state. But when a photon of light is passing through an atom and comes into contact with an electron, it can transfer its energy to this electron. In an atom of a normally opaque material, this photon's energy is enough to boost an electron to a higher energy level. In this process, all the photon's energy is absorbed and the light doesn't pass through the material. Now what makes glass so special is that there's a huge energy gap between the electron's ground state and its high energy state. Because of this gap, when a photon comes into contact with one of glass's ground state electrons, it doesn't have the energy necessary to boost the electron to a higher energy level. Because of this, the photon's energy isn't absorbed and it passes right through the material, thus creating the property of transparency. Now when I first saw this question of is molten glass transparent, my initial guess was that it's not. And my reasoning went something like this. I hypothesized that the extreme temperatures that glass is exposed to in its molten state would supply so much heat energy that it would actually raise the electron's ground state energy level, which would effectively close glass's massive energy gap. This would allow photons to raise electrons to their higher energy state, be absorbed, and cause glass to be opaque. But after doing some research, I decided to revise my hypothesis. It turns out that the energy required to boost glass's electrons' ground state energy levels is absolutely absurd. But the energy that exists in melting glass is great enough to produce another equally awesome effect. If you look at a melting ball of glass, you'll see that it glows red. This is because of something known as black body radiation. Black body radiation is light given off by all matter as a result of its heat. But we usually can't see this radiation because most things around us emit their black body radiation in the infrared area of the electromagnetic spectrum. But when matter reaches a certain temperature, known as the Draper point, which is around 525 degrees Celsius, it begins to give off light in the lower ends of the visible light spectrum, which is why molten glass glows red. So, my final prediction is that molten glass is transparent, and that we simply can't see through it because our view is obscured by the black body radiation that's emitting. But if you want a definite answer to this question, you're going to have to tune into the Gentleman Physicist channel this Wednesday and watch him test this out with some actual glass blowers. I'll post the link to his channel right here. And as always, subscribe to my channel if you learned something, and until next time, never stop learning.